I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sontime, and you're watching Ward TV. Last Wednesday, we had a day off from school for Veterans Day. Earlier that week, Kevin Lease, a former U.S. Navy SEAL, visited our school in commemoration of the men and women who have fought for our country. Check it out. On Tuesday, November 10th, former U.S. Navy SEAL Kevin Lace visited Ward in commemoration of Veterans Day. A little bit about me. Um, I'm 27. Uh, I got out of the Navy, not just got out of the Navy, it's been about a year, almost a year. It'll be a year, December 11th. So I've been moved on from that, but I was born and raised in Connecticut. Mr. Lace spoke to several classes about the time he spent serving our country in Iraq. He was part of President Bush's troop surge in 2006 and deployed again in 2008. Although he is no longer a member of the military, Mr. Lace is still a great representation of the many men and women serving our country. Are you ready to take the challenge? The challenge is a competitive academic game show where local schools are pitted against each other in a high stakes battle of wits. Next Tuesday, November 24th, watch us play against Brian Command. At 6.30, tune into Channel 14, MSP Varsity and share us off. If you missed the episode, go to powertolearn.com slash challenge. On the website, you can find all previously aired episodes of the show, as well as our team page and profiles. Welcome back. You're watching more TV. Now, you may have seen the new movie 2012 starring John Cusack, but don't think the world is ending just yet. Mr. Morrow reassures us that the movie's idea of a planetary doomsday is just Hollywood magic. But first, a message from Brett Favre. Check it out. I'm comfortable in sweatshirts that are tough. I'm comfortable in sweatshirts that'll last. I'm comfortable in sweatshirts. Real comfortable. I like Mustangs, I'm not talking about the cars. The victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts that the end of time will coincide with a planetary alignment on the 21st of December of 2012. The controversial theories of 2012 had led to Hollywood's productions of a new movie that plays on the idea that a planetary alignment on December 21st, 2012 will result in a global doomsday. Mr. Morrow, a science teacher in Pequot House, disagrees with the scientific evidence behind this theory. Uh, one of the things that people are talking about so much about these days is the idea that the world's going to end in 2012. Reality is, from science, they talk about basically this amazing alignment that's going to happen. And when that happens, it's going to throw everything off and the world's going to be destroyed and life on Earth is going to be destroyed as we know it. There are theories that when that happens, it's going to throw gravity off and do all sorts of weird stuff. Well, we've had alignments of the planets over and over again. Dawn, dusk, and so forth, you can see a whole bunch of planets aligned up, but it hasn't caused the Earth or the solar system to be destroyed. And that's over four and a half billion years of history where we haven't been destroyed yet. So I don't think the alignment's going to do it to us. So check out 2012 in theaters, but don't forget, the theories are just that, theories. Hi, my name is Aaron Clark. And I'm Cassidy Clark. And we're engineering an interact project called 90 Shoes. We know of an island called Amapala on Honduras, where it's so impoverished the kids can't afford shoes. On the island, the kids need shoes to go to school. There are 90 kids who want shoes for Christmas. We're asking you to help by getting an inexpensive pair of sneakers and donating them to us. If you're interested, please contact us as soon as possible and we'll give you the child's name and shoe size as well as where you can bring the shoes. This is essentially giving them an education, which would be the ultimate act of kindness during the season of giving. Thank you. Peace. If you're interested in joining a winter sport, visit the athletic director, Mr. Manfredonia, in P4. 
For any boys interested in playing basketball, meet after school on Monday in the big gym for preseason conditioning. The music department is selling 2009 Carillon t-shirts for $10 each. If you've got any interest in purchasing one, see any teacher involved in the music department. Well, that's all the time we've got. Don't forget to support the Ward football team at the Thanksgiving game next Thursday the 26th at Ludlow. Have a great weekend. I'm Christopher Warren Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sherman Sondheim. And, and we're, we're out. out. No, we're not. We have to do that again. You're Can he tell me Mr. Hart was there today having...